Hi, now this is a follow-up video to my previous one just to give you further practice. Here you've got to write 5 minus 8x minus 16x squared in the form a minus all of bx plus c all squared where b is greater than 0. So if you'd like to give this a try, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, either fast forward to check your answer or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So if you watched that earlier video, what we do is we take our expression here, write it identical to this one. OK, so if I copy that down, you've got something like this. And what I'm going to do next is just expand this bracket. OK, so what we've got is that this is identical to a minus and then if we expand the bracket in the usual way we'll get the first term squared b squared x squared twice the product of these two terms so it'll be plus 2bcx okay 2bcx and then you've got the last term squared so that's plus c squared and then what i'm going to do is expand the bracket and group up terms I'm going to get a minus the c squared here. We'll start with the constant term, so that's a minus c squared. And then we'll look to the x term here. That will be minus 2bcx, so minus 2bcx. And then we've got the x squared term here, which is going to be minus b squared x squared. I did it in that form so that it matches up with the form we've got here. The constant, then the x term, and then the x squared term. So we start now by comparing the coefficients of the x squared term. So in other words, what we've got here is the coefficient of x squared is the minus 16, and that compares with the minus b squared. So what we have then is that b squared must be equal to 16. I've dropped the negative sign, minus b squared equaling the minus 16. OK, that's up to you. But it comes down to b squared equals 16. And so from here, we could take the square roots then of the 16 to get b, and we therefore have b equals plus or minus 4. But we know that b is a positive value, so it's got to be 4. I'll just put in here since b is greater than 0. OK? Right, so we've got our b value. What do we need next? Well, we can work out what our c value is just by comparing the coefficients of x. So by comparing the coefficients of x, I see that we've got negative 8 here and we've got minus 2bc there. OK, so what we have then is that minus 2 times b, b is now 4, OK, times c must equal the coefficient of x, which is negative 8. And from here, we've got minus 8c equals minus 8. So clearly then, c must be equal to 1. So we've therefore got c equals 1. Next, I can compare the constants. And I can see that from the constants, we've got 5 here, and we've got these two terms are constant, so that must be the a minus c squared must match up with the 5. So if I write that in, we've got a minus c squared. c we've seen is 1, so it's minus 1 squared, equals the 5 up here. Okay. So we've got a minus 1 equals 5, so adding 1 to both sides clearly gives us a equals 5 add 1, which is 6. And now that I've got a, b and c, I can substitute them back up into here, and we can conclude then that 5 minus 8x minus 16x squared is identical to 6 minus all of 4x plus 1 all squared. So, hope you were able to get that right if you had a go. If not, at least being able to see how to do a question like this. Okay?